You know, in theory, long days of travel to the average adventure junkie may sound like a lot of fun, but honestly, when the rubber meets the road, shorter travel days are king. Hear me out for a second. When we first hit the road, we drove 1,400 miles across three days. And since then, that's a philosophy I don't recommend or co-sign for. We have learned it's better not to make those long travel days a habit and to shorten the distance between campgrounds. And of course, we're gonna share our reasons from experience of being on the road full time, why shorter travel days are just better. And the second reason is you have more time in your morning to go ahead and grab some coffee, like at this place called Hot Shots, we were recommended by. Hey, how you doing? Good morning. Good morning. We're first timers. What you guys filming? Yeah. So we're originally from North Carolina. North Carolina? And back to what I was saying, you don't have to rush early in the mornings, which I prefer, Jessica prefers, and it's just nice getting to go to coffee shops, getting to go check out gift shops, just exploring the town before you have to leave and rush off. It beats waking up, immediately hitting the road, and you kind of have to find some restaurant along the way or a coffee shop along the way. So it is nice getting to take your time. Also, to give you a little context, we're currently staying at a hip camp for a two night stay which usually serves as the bridge between our destinations. Located in Malala, Oregon, this is a beautiful farm with plenty of space and solitude. On a clear day near sunset, you do have an amazing view of Mount Hood, and this hip camp costs us $65 a night, but I am sure if you're staying longer, like three weeks to four weeks, the host will provide a better rate, but also check with them first. And with gas on the rise, it's sort of a built-in reason to keep the travel day short as it can help ease up on the wallet so we can save a little more or just have a little extra when we go to gift shops. Either way, this is sort of the side benefit and I can last longer between oil changes too. And the fourth reason is that we automatically follow the 333 rule something we have been a little bit more conscious about here recently and when we plan trips that either a is 300 miles or less per day for the total trip or b arrive no later than 3 p.m to your destination or c get out and stretch your legs every three hours which is normally how long i can last between filling up anyways we finally picked a spot and as we're getting set up i want to talk to you about the fifth reason of why we think it's best to have shorter travel days and that is because less things can go wrong what I mean by that is things don't break as often when you have shorter travel days and when you have longer travel days, that's when you give more chance for things to go wrong, things to break, accidents can happen. They can happen regardless, but if you give yourself a parameter, a short parameter, chances are they're not gonna happen as often. So we found a beautiful spot actually. The only thing is, is there's a few options that we had to choose, but with Starlink, these trees right here is your nemesis. So we're gonna actually put it kind of close out to here out in the open kind of closer towards the street so everybody's is pointing that way towards the beach oh and we're going to show you the beach by the way that is beautiful we caught a glimpse on the way in here absolutely gorgeous absolutely worth it and the reason we picked this spot in particular is because of where to go can you see that that little orange cap there that is sewage not all of these spots in pacific city has sewage so let's go check out the pups they've been waiting patiently as the dog's been passing by and hey big Hey, big guy. This is my big girl, Paul. And this is this is my um, this is my terrible child. This is Kenai. He's not really a terrible child. He's just in his terrible twos right now. He is 11 month old. Um, which I think that equates to like two years or some change in dog puppy world. And he is just the biggest baby. He's a big softy. He wants to crawl on you all the time. And she is a beautiful, beautiful, great dog. But she does not like other dogs. She didn't get socialized much as a puppy uh, during COVID season. And yeah, so she doesn't like other dogs. She warm up, you know, it only takes about five minutes to warm up other dogs, but that initial five minutes, she just doesn't, doesn't do well. And it's funny because I just had mentioned to you that shorter trips usually equal less stuff damaged. And that's probably limited to the exterior because the interior, it doesn't matter, apparently. So one of the shelves on the inside of the fridge had fallen down and broken. It's not uncommon for your fridge to get knocked around and things to um, be misorganized as soon as you open it up. But this is our first time of a shelf breaking. And what that is, is 
if you can see the shelf up under that one, this one right here, there's another one that was exactly like it that had fallen down and broke and kind of cascaded into a bunch of shards, which is what she's cleaning up now. In addition to that, um, you see all those wires right there. I'm not sure if you can see that, all those wires. There's a shelf that goes right on top of it. This one right here. That fell through. Um, and all we really had on the shelf was this basket. And it might weigh, I don't know, seven to 10 pounds. That's it. But getting to the coast of Oregon, the roads aren't necessarily even nor are they new. They are in a little slightly rough condition. And I kind of figured that the fridge was gonna be in disarray when we came. Oh, you can hear all that. Yeah, get on get on in there. That's all that glass piling out. Um, so yeah, we are in full construction mode, which is why another reason you want to get here a little early, a little ahead of a schedule, because if we'd have been doing this at 9, 10 p.m. I would not have been happy. We would not have been happy people and well, we're not happy people right now but it is what it is you just that just comes with the territory i would rather be at the beach which is about 40 steps that way but we're in full construction mode i mean i enjoy driving long distances and i don't know there's something about journeying across the lands in search of greener grass but time and experience will show you that slope is also a great way to travel as well does that mean jess and i will now only slowly travel no matter where we go and what we see? Not necessarily. When we go up to Washington and make our way back home, there are gonna be times where we may have five, 600 miles every travel weekend to make it back home for the holidays. But we also enjoy the times where we don't necessarily have to drive those distances every other weekend. For example, we're planning on spending a month in Colorado for the fall and see what that has to offer. And if you found any value, feel free to give a thumbs up, give a subscribe to the channel, and we will see you in our next adventure.